Hey guys, I'm just for my sucker. So my package finally came in today, which it was late, which sucks. And I already opened up the packages to see if there's any digital codes, and unfortunately there is not. So I apologize. So I got four Blu-rays I want to show you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the very first Blu-ray I want to show you is a very special edition that you can get for close to thirty dollars if you're a huge Army Darkness fan like I am, and it is the Scream Factories version of the Army of Darkness and what this comes with is four cuts of the movie you get the theatrical director's cut international cut and the TV cut and each one is re-edited and each one has different scenes in it which I like I um, haven't watched it yet no I know the theatrical cut by the back of my hand love Army of Darkness but I have never seen the director's cut and anything like that so it's going to be interesting to see how this movie is um, I absolutely love this movie and uh, what's cool about this edition is that uh, it has custom disc work from Screen Factory, which is always nice. So if you're a huge fan of Army of Darkness, go on Amazon.com and pick this up. It is $26.99. It would be definitely look nice on your shelf. Um, I, I just love it. I love the Screen Factory's work. So next up, we got Ghostbusters 1 and 2, the Digibook. I got this off BestBuy.com. And what you get in this is basically comes with a note from my Reitman. It is a book. No, telling you about the film of the movie and the cast members. And it comes with Ghostbusters 1 and Ghostbusters 2. Um, I love Digibooks. I have always loved Digibooks. So when I saw they had this for 10 bucks, I was like, fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. It's a steal. And, um, of course, Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2 is classics to me. You know, of course, Ghostbusters 1 is better than Ghostbusters 2. But I feel like Ghostbusters 2 gets a bunch of shade when it shouldn't. I think Ghostbusters 2 is a hell of a fun movie. So next up, we got my childhood classic, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I got this for $5.99 on BestBuy.com. And um, I have problems with this Blu-ray. I don't like the way this looks. It's just really bland. Um, they could have done something so neat with a disc artwork. But other than that, um, I've been wanting to have this on my Blu-ray collection for a long time. I'm a huge Who Framed Roger Rabbit fan. Uh, Bob Hoskins did an amazing job with it. Robert Zemeckis, you know, of course, directed the hell out of the movie. And, of course, you know, Steven Spielberg, if you know anything about it, Steven Spielberg produced the movie. So um, this is the 25th anniversary. It comes with a bunch of bonus features, such as it's fully restored. While well, Robert is a fully restored movie, Robert Zemeckis supervised it. Um, who made Roger Rabbit the commentary? Um, Tune down confidential. You can view a uh, viewing option with intriguing and hilarious facts and trivia. Uh, so it's a trivia track. Before and after a split scene comparison with and without the animation, Roger Rabbit in a depth look at behind the scenes documentary. The tune stand ins featurette, rehearsing with stand ins for the tunes. On set, bending the cab. So, there's a lot of bonus features in this. I love this Blu ray. It looks nice. The box looks nice. It's just a disc that this doesn't do it for me. And last but not least is the one that I got that I had a big problem with thanks to Amazon Child's Play, the Chucky 7 movie collection. So, I actually had to replace the case on my own because the case they used was broken. I paid $40 for this. And you see, this is not the original case. But what you get with this is actually nice. I've been watching these all day. Well, oh, last night I just woke up. Now, what's behind this? Oh, yeah, this is my game manual for Trover. As you can see, I had to replace it, um, which is not fun. But um, what you get with this is pretty standard. You know, you get all seven movies on Blu ray, it's a typical you know, Universal Pictures box set which Universal does not do good box sets but what they did do that stands out from the rest is this is the first Child's Play box set that I know of to include the MGM first movie most box sets like the killer movie collection included Child's Play 2 to um, see the Chucky those are the ones that Universal did it never included Child's Play 1 because, you know, Child's Play 1 was not done by Universal Pictures. It was done by MGM, so they could never get that in there. But, also what's nice about this is the box itself. As you can see, it's, it's hard cardboard. 
And I just love that it shows all the movie's posters. I I saw this at Best Buy. I was going to get it. But then I thought, why not just get the whole entire collection? It had the same cover and everything. Um, it didn't come with a digital code. I apologize for that. But make up to it for it for you guys in about two weeks. Um, when I get paid, I'm getting a lot more Blu-rays. And I'll be giving out a lot more digital codes. So if you want to stick around for that, that's awesome. I just want to show you guys what Blu-rays I just got. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and tell you guys I'm also going to do a video ranking the Child's Play movies. Because I just got back from, I just saw the new one yesterday. And I thought it was really good. I know a lot of people are probably saying that they hated it, they didn't like it. But I thought the new one was exceptional. I thought it was really good. And it reminded me of the first two Child's Play movies. Which, you know, it's a good thing because I love the first two ones. And, you know, I've always been a fan of the Child's Play franchise. So I've always wanted to do a sort of like ranking list. And now I can do it with this. And I won't be able to include footage because I don't have you no know, anything like, you know, a laptop, nothing like that. But I will be giving you guys reasons why I ranked them the way I ranked them. So, yeah, keep a lookout for my Child's Play ranking. And I hope to see you guys next time. And I hope you guys have an awesome day.